Hello everybody. In this video, the very first video at the Boundary Edge, I'll tell you a little bit more about myself, the channel, and why I think you might want to stick around. Hello everybody, you're all very welcome. Uh, my name's Rob. Uh, the Boundary Edge is my channel, uh, and I want to tell you a little bit more about myself. Um, so I'll get straight into this. Um, it, along the way, if you do find anything interesting, have any questions, um, please just, just leave me a message. That's ultimately looking what, what I'm looking to do, is engage with people and grow a community here. So um, to get straight into it, um, my first memories of, a, of, of cricket were as a very young boy. I, I want to say six, seven years old. Um, I grew up in a, a mining village, both parents worked. Um, I grew up in the 80s um, and, and due to both parents having work commitments, often I would be uh, left in the care of my grandparents who lived just a couple of streets um, around the corner, basically. And I, I know that um, I remember many times that when the TV was on, and back then <laughs> there were only four channels, believe it or not, one, two, three and four, um, no Sky, no Channel 5 even, um, if the TV was on, it was very likely um, that cricket was on. Uh, and that was provided by the BBC. Uh, and that's it was by far my granddad's favourite thing to watch on TV, his favourite sport. Um, and that was back in the days. There was no 2020. Um, everything was done. Every, all, all um, you know, six and over was considered revolutionary. Uh, and I just remember looking at the screen, see all these men walking around a field in their whites and... You know, they only had one camera uh, fixed at one end back then. So, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're old enough to remember, you'll see the traditional view as you do now with the bowler running in from the bottom of the screen and bowling to the batter, or batsman, should I say, um, or batter. I, I never know whether it's batter or batsman. Um, tell me if you want. Um, and then the next over, the, the, the other bowler would come in from the top of the screen and you would be seen, you know, behind the batter. And that was the norm back then. And of course, things developed and we got cameras all over the place now. But yeah, that's, uh, my granddad was passionate about cricket. We never really spoke about it, but I just sort of got an impression of, of, of what it was all about just by being there and watching it on the TV. Um, I had no idea about the rules or who anybody was or what, what the, just how the game was set up. So you could talk to me about Googlers and Wrongans, no idea. Um, I, I, I didn't know the difference between what was fine leg and third man. Um, but believe me, I, I soon got to know the difference between third, third leg, uh, third leg, third leg, fine leg and third man, sorry. Um, I think as all sort of junior cricketers got to know that um, that A to B journey. And then really it was uh, sort of more, more memories of me and my dad in the back garden. Uh, of an evening or a weekend in bowling at me um, obviously not a full run up of 22 yards but sort of some gentle uh, some gentle uh, overarm we didn't have much kit back then I think it was basically a bat and ball we didn't have any stumps that would have been a luxury we would we would have never gone out and bought proper stumps back then but we would we would nominate a panel fence behind me or chalk out an area that you know, if the ball hit, then that was me out. Those were the wickets. I remember my dad really trying to instill in me the importance of a forward defensive. And for all his best efforts, I've never really got that. Even as I progressed through the game, uh, just, just, you know, didn't really appreciate the importance of being able to play that sort of basic shot. And at seven or eight years old, who, who the heck wants to play a forward defensive? My favourite shot back then, and still was at the time when I finished, was the, um, I think the technical term is heave to cow corner. Um, got lots of fun whacking the ball into uh, the neighbour's garden, but um, my dad didn't enjoy fetching the ball every, you know, twice every, two, well, two or three times every over. Um, so he soon invented the six and out rule, which was a shame, but I ultimately got to play a bit more properly, should we say. And then when my dad wasn't there, I'd be out in the garden until half nine, ten o'clock at night in the in the UK summertime, uh, either throwing the ball against the outside um, outside wall of the house, which obviously my mum and dad loved me doing, um, or throwing it up onto the roof, losing sight of it, guessing where's it going to come down, and then ultimately pulling out an awesome diving catch when it eventually dropped. 
And then at this point, obviously, cricket was just part of the routine. Spring and summer, the cricket bats, balls came out, we played cricket. Um, even on holidays, family holidays, we would go on caravan holidays. We would hook up the, uh, the caravan and, and, and go different parts of the country at least twice a year. But every time we would have a, a cricket set, a toy cricket set in, in, the, uh, in the back of the car. So a bat, tennis ball, usually four stumps, just with, with the fourth stump, just to mark out where the, uh, the ball would bowl from. And that would be, it would be more than just me and my dad then. So good memories of all the family getting involved that, uh, with that, sorry. Ultimately, I didn't have the luxury of being able to bat all day with that one, so I did have to do my fair share of bowling, um, which did allow me to come off my full run-up whenever my sister was bowling. And, well, if the odd beam had slipped in there, well, what was I supposed to do? Um, I had no control over my bowling. And from that point, so I played cricket throughout uh, every year of my, my school, uh, from 11 to 18, at a decent level. Uh, met loads of good people, really good friends and most of my friends now are, are, are through playing cricket um, either through school or junior club or, or even um, you know a proper club cricket we went on tours we've got loads of stories i'll introduce to my friends as well over over the coming weeks and months but loads of stories particularly about uh, tours to wales um, spent a season in western australia um, all sorts of business. Um, like I said, I will cover that in, in, in future content if that's uh, something you're interested in. Let me know if you want to know about the Welsh tour and also the f the 2003 four season in Perth. Oof. Um, yeah, I think you'd be interested in that. Uh, so that was school. Yeah, uh, while I was at school playing cricket, obviously picked up some junior club cricket. Um, and started getting involved in the in the men's game, and, and really the early memories of getting involved with with local club cricket at a, at a senior level was a Saturday morning knock at the door, where the local club captain would would speak to my mom and say, you know, is your Robert available to play? Um, I'll make sure he's looked after. I'll make sure he gets a bat and a ball. Um, yeah, that that didn't happen. Um, so as a probably an 11, 12, 13 year old, um, I, I, I didn't get a bat. Uh, and I was a solid number 11 as far as they're concerned. Um, I, I never got a ball. I never got a ball in the uh, in the senior game at that age. Um, and yeah, that journey from fine leg to third man was something that I got very familiar with. Almost felt like a rite of passage for any young cricketer making his way in, in the adult game. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I, I, I was a decent fielder, um, steady bowler, little, little in duckers, um, then a bit of a sort of middle order slog or drop the anchor type um, batter, whatever the whatever the game needed, really. Um, absolutely amazing slip fielder, by the way. Yeah, uh, my friends will attest to that, but send one up a chimney for me, it'll drop 20 yards away from me and I won't even see it. Then ultimately, um, in my early 30s, just life got in the way of cricket for me. wasn't able to practice. wasn't able to look after my fitness as I would do. And obviously, the, the, you, you start to lose the skill. Um, just started to feel as though I couldn't perform. So called it a day. Looking back, it was way too early. I should have continued playing. Um, I should probably still be playing now. Most of my friends still do play. But uh, I wanted to um, give umpiring a try as well. So I did umpiring for two years. Managed to get ECB level two. Um, so I can still use that today. But I, I, should, I thought, well, yeah, that's not giving me what I need from the game either. So again, a couple of years of that and then, then finished and, and, and just decided to be an armchair lover of the game. Which brings me here today. So if you are interested in topical debates, and we know cricket can really create some topical debate if you're interested in the history of the game the latest news i will be looking to do um, a lot of that plus weekly roundups what's going on in the world of cricket and eventually you know, once i get the, the the tech sorted and get into the habit of doing these things and once we've got a bit of a community um i'd really like to do watch along so that's the live you know um, i'll watch the game you join me uh, and and um, hopefully we'll have some fun doing watch-alongs. So um, hopefully you've got a, a feel for why I got into the game, why I love the game and, and what I'm looking to do now. If you want to join this community, and I really hope you do, wherever you are, 
um, whether you whether you don't play or just interested in it, whether you still play, whether it's club, county, um, whether you preferred sorry, whether you played the game at a professional level in the UK, a different country, um, perhaps you're in the ladies game or part of an associate nation, then just get in touch because uh, I'd love to engage with you, have a conversation and let's just strike something up. I'm looking over there now and I can see the umpires have got the light meters out and the clouds are coming over so I think that will uh, draw close to today's play. Um, thanks very much for watching, I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.